Lumi, um, you said that porn helped you heal your relationship with sex and intimacy. Mm -hmm. um, what did your relationship with sex look like before you were in porn? I feel like for me, I was always raised with this mindset that it was kind of like a power tool. Mm. <laughs> um, but I was always just naturally horny and <laughs> kind of didn't like I was always raised by people that were like you have to wait to have sex or you have mm -hmm. to have like no one's gonna respect you if you mm -hmm. fuck on the first date and I was kind of just like like the first person I had sex with was a friend and I was just like oh I don't care if we don't date like mm -hmm. um but there was like a period in my life where I feel like I had to get fucked up to have sex. I couldn't make eye contact with certain partners. I just, I just was doing it to, I don't know, have that. It was almost like a, not a sex addiction kind of thing, but that feeling of like, I need, I just need that, but didn't really, but then I would feel like shit after, whether it was like someone I was dating or not. I was just like, why am I doing this? So I started going to therapy for it. And then through this work, having it be sober <laughs> on set, and I've developed like really, like some of the like best friendships I've ever had with people who I'm intimate on camera with. And it's just this special thing to be in that moment with someone where you're like, wow, we're both fucking nuts to be doing this job, but I see you, you see me, like we're here together. So that's like, so now I feel like I can make eye contact with guys. I, it's, it's given me a different standard too with like dating, especially mm -hmm. people outside of the industry, mm -hmm. so. Do you find it like a little bit of a relief that you can have sex with these people that you work with for work, enjoy it, but not have like those strings attached where like, yeah. okay, now are we dating? Yeah. Do I have to call you? Am I gonna no. hurt your feelings? You know what <laughs> no. I mean? Like there must be something that's a little bit just more like at ease. Like we can it literally is. just be friends and have sex and like we can just be friends. Literally. And there doesn't even, have to be more to that. There's even some that I've had sex off camera with or like there's even some where if I've had like a weird shoot or like a weird day where they're like, just come over and like I'll give you aftercare or just like mm -hmm. I just feel like I have and I didn't grow up with uh, I want any of the people call me and be like what well, makes sense you're important but my dad wasn't really around growing up mm -hmm. so I feel like through this too it's like oh I'm developing these like really trusting special bonds with these men mm -hmm. that I get to yeah have sex with and not feel like they're taking something from me. It's mm -hmm. like we're sharing this moment. We're yeah. giving both of ourselves to each other and we're creating something. Like it's, I don't know, it's different than just like meeting someone at a bar and going home with them. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely like a different context to it. And I think that a lot of people do imagine that, you know, all women in porn are victims and all men are predators, yeah. which is absolutely not true i mean obviously there are definitely cases where that happens For and sure. we've seen those you know all over the news and all over twitter mm -hmm. but there's a so much more that that aren't like that yeah and um there is yeah this kind of like camaraderie and friendship and i think that generally like adult stars really kind of care about each other because yeah. it is an interesting line of work right where you are physically yeah. intimate with somebody mm-hmm for work yeah and you're also stigmatized for it mm -hmm. generally by the world so there's also like an us against them quality to it yeah that i think creates more of a bond it does which is kind sure. of interesting hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon 
At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.